Friday, we start with Getting Robbed, my take on the three biggest sports stories tonight. Tigers open up a three-game series in Oakland against the A's, currently no score in the third inning. But before they took the field tonight, they got bad news on starter Jordan Zimmerman. He will not NOT start on Saturday. He's still suffering with the grade one groin strain. Mm. Lefty Matt Boyd was recalled from AAA Toledo and will start in Zimmerman's stead. It will be Boyd's first start of the season. In 10 starts with the Tigers last season, Boyd was one and four with a bloated 6.57 ERA. At this point, the Tigers aren't putting Zimmerman on a disabled list. Topic number two, the Rio Olympics this summer was dealt a blow today. More than 150 health experts said the game should be moved or postponed because of the Zika crisis. A group of leading scientists say new findings about the virus make it, quote, unethical, unquote, for the games to go ahead in an open letter to the World Health Organization. They call on the WHO to revisit its guidance on Zika, which is linked to serious birth defects. Back in May, the International Olympic Committee said it sees no reason to delay or move the games due to Zika. And you know what? We know that they're not going to cancel the Olympics. So the question would be, if you were an athlete, would you go to Rio and participate? I think it's really concerning. I mean, this is a very serious health crisis. And there, I mean, the potential here for this to spread is, is, is crazy. I don't know. But it's your Olympic dream. I mean, it's your Olympic dream. And there's no way you wouldn't go. Yeah. I mean, it only comes around four times. And I just think as long as you're not trying to get pregnant, because doctors have said that if you're a woman and you got bitten right. by an infected mosquito, it'll go away in 10 days, even if you got mm -hmm. it. So you just, you know, it's really for pregnant women. And I know guys can carry it too, but they shouldn't be trying to How have babies either. I, I agree. You work mm -hmm. so hard at yeah. just getting there that uh, maybe keep the family back and, you know, even though you want their support, but just sort of. But uh, think about, stuff, though. I know it's the for experts, that many, for that many experts health say experts. it. It's really a tough decision. But I'll think about everybody that's going to watch as well. Right. And that's then, then it's spectators. Yeah, yeah, it's right. going to. But now you have to go lot. knowing the yeah, end. Yeah. Be warned. It's, it's yeah. really a tough, tough call. Yeah. Finally, LeBron James, love him or not, is on the verge of going to his sixth NBA Finals in a row and seventh in his career. Even in the week east, it's still impressive. You can bet, though, LeBron would rather have won more than just two championships in his first six appearance. Nonetheless, it's been some career for James, who is trying to win the city of Cleveland, its first championship since 1964, when Jim Brown won the title for the Browns. In LeBron's case, the only thing that kind of taints his title runs is that he never faced Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, or Kobe Bryant in the postseason. Scoreboard time is what you need to know on this Friday night. Pay attention, Carolyn. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm checking you. The Tigers and the A's in the first game of a three-game set out west. And in the NBA Eastern Conference Finals, the Toronto Raptors are hosting the Cleveland Cavaliers, and Cleveland is winning pretty comfortably. Tonight's homeboy highlight is Jordan Zimmerman. No, not the Tigers pitcher Jordan Zimmerman. It, we're talking about Michigan State Spartans Jordan Zimmerman. Coming in Zimmerman. on a 14-game hitting streak, Zimmerman steps up, and A.B., see you later. A big home run there in the top of the eighth. Tied the game up. And I should say later on in the eighth, there with a little bingo, bango, base hit to right field. Thank you, Mickey. He knocked in the winning run. Pretty nice game for Jordan Zimmerman for MSU. Mike Check, 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two. Lions fans. Might be missing Calvin Johnson, but new free agent addition Marvin Jones is confident this Lions offense will be just fine. Uh, from day one to day three now, uh, you see the you see the progression, you see the speed pick up a little bit, you know, just because, you know, we're in a new offense and stuff, and, you know, we have some bright guys that can pick up stuff, and, uh, you know, we're just going out there and, and, and doing us. So it's, it's good to get everybody, you know, including the rookies, you know, coming in and, uh, and getting everybody on the same page and, you know, just having fun watching each other make plays. I feel so lucky with all the beautiful women on this Friday night. You guys have a great holiday weekend. Aren't you Thanks, sweet? Bob. You do Thank the same. You. you do the same. Thank you. Hallie, we're going to have a beautiful weekend, right? Of course we Just are. Just a little How bit of rain. I say no after that? <laughs> of course we are going to have a beautiful weekend. That's what we're ordering right now. That's what we're ordering.